so this question it had a loud s4 component s4 you should know what a s3 and s4 is so let's understand that first so an s3 also known as the third heart sound and s4 fourth heart sound why is it made the simple thing is it is due to passive filling of ventricle whenever the ventricle is dilated you know ventricle is dilated the blood gushing in will make some sound hissing sound you know just there is a this large pot and you are putting some blood into a, a constant stream so there will be a sound when it is dilated there will be a different sound which will take longer blood you know splashes into that that is called the ventricular gallop ventricular gallop this is the ventricular gallop and uh, it's seen in systolic heart failure because in heart failure basically the heart dilates in uh, high output states which basically means the same thing then in the fourth heart sound so you always hear a fourth heart sound in the reverse thing reverse than s3 whenever your heart uh, your ventricle wall is stiff like suppose this was your ventricle wall if it becomes stiff and becomes this small and the wall is so thick so that you know whenever you are uh, throwing the blood or towards the stiff ventricle and due to atrial contraction and the ventricle goes on to stiff ventricle that makes a the you know the annoying sound which is known as s4 which we all have to learn and this can be normal in older adults with this can be also due to some stiff you know basically in older adults the ventricle becomes stiff that's it that they mean more with healthy older adults they are not healthy of course this is called the atrial gallop sound so what did we what were we asked here ultimately in all this question there was all the this huge history of some heart problem and shortness of breath and stuff like that but ultimately we were given this big hint here there was a loud s4 without without murmurs but a loud s4 this was not a murmur okay so uh, s4 so yeah and we were asked what would be the myocardial changes so for this you need to understand what is parallel hypertrophy and what is uh, series hypertrophy so for that i have this wonderful figure this is what i meant by uh, you know stiff ventricle this is what i meant by dilated ventricle so in this hypertrophy first of all let's see this hypertrophy eccentric hypertrophy it is called just a minute just want to change my pen uh, this is the eccentric hypertrophy in that the fibers are parallel this is one fiber this is another fiber or not series i mean series and this is a third fiber so they are all in a series guys series so you know this this was the one this became two then came three so ultimately the heart you know is dilating so that is a little bit of logic and here you can see this was the one fiber upon it came the second also adjust into that same thing happened this was parallel which is seen in concentric hypertrophy now we are s4 in thick ventricle which of these both are thick concentric hypertrophy right so we will be hearing s4 here and here there is a dilated ventricle it is not thick this is normal the wall here also is normal but the see the size of cavity in compared to the normal this is the normal and see this size okay so in this we will be hearing an s3 so according to the question according to the question we were dealing with concentric hypertrophy which means sarcomeres are added in parallel so let's see the options now so the options are ventricular hypertrophy the sarcomeres duplicated in series no macrophages with hemosiderin what is this guys heart failure cells have you ever heard of this heart failure cells will come to that ventricular hypertrophy with sarcomeres duplicated in parallel this seems right uh, asymmetrophy into uh, no granuloma consisting of limit this is no so answer we have got but what are all these others what first question you know first option you know this is in series so this shall be a case of some dilated ventricle some heart failure my macrophages with hemosiderin are basically seen uh, you know like why do macrophages contain hemosiderin because they have engulfed those hemosiderin you know where is where, where do we find hemosiderin from blood iron right so macrophages engulf engulf the rbcs and which led to macrophages with hemosiderin these are classically called as heart failure cells found in of course heart failure so these two options were wrong uh, asymmetric hypertrophy with interventricular septum this is guys hypertrophic cardiomyopathy you should have learned about this this is a beta globin heavy chain gene mutation where there is you know irregular hypertrophy of the heart and person suddenly suddenly collapses collapses in front of no way then there is a granuloma consisting of lymphocyte plasma cell and macrophages 
ultimately it's a granulomatous pathology granuloma contains lymphocytes plasma cells and macrophages they are just making this thing bigger and surrounding necrotic this may be seen in sarcoidosis then tb syphilis many many granulomatous condition which you might be learning in pathology even if you haven't till now